DYN our face dynamic addictive angular margin loss or uh, deep face recognition. I'll try my best to uh, present the paper. The authors mm -hmm. of the paper are uh, Ji Chao Jiao, Wei uh, Wen Liu, Yao Kai Mo, Jian Jiao, and Zhong Nan So um, this paper starts with a uh, brief review of softmax. As everyone knows here, uh, typically when people want to train uh, face feature representation model, uh, they use softmax as a loss function. And how softmax works, this is a list of softmax. And uh, um, as you can see from this figure, the boundary of softmax, uh, the boundary between two classes of softmax is defined by this equation. Uh, basically, uh, the weighting vector and the bias vector together define the boundary. And there are a lot, a lot of work talking about how to further improve this loss function. Uh, one typical way, as the author reviewed, uh, is uh, called arc phase. I think this is one of the most widely adopted uh, actual term uh, to further improve the uh, loss function. And as the author uh, pointed out, uh, one of the key idea of the loss function is adding uh, this actual term V here. By adding this term, actually, uh, this uh, uh, loss function further improve the, uh, the threshold uh, of the loss function to be saturated. And if you want to see explanation uh, from the figure, it means that um, you need to have this kind of additional margin between the two classes. Uh, uh, by enforcing this kind of additional uh, region between the two classes, uh, the uh, feature space of each class has been compressed. Uh, basically, the inter-class uh, uh, variance has been increased. At the same time, the intra-class uh, variance has been decreased by adding this additional term. But uh, however, one potential drawback of arc phase as pointed out by the author is that uh, the arc phase uh, tried too much effort on increasing the inter-class uh, variance rather than keep decreasing the intra-class errors. And it's a little bit confusing, but I think uh, this figure explains the idea better. Um, at the very beginning, uh, this is how it looks like when you only use softmax to train a model. And then by adding the extra term, uh, you're basically pushing the two classes further away from each other. So that's the inter-class errors has been uh, increased. Um, but uh, when you keep doing this, uh, when the uh, Inter-class uh, inter variance is large enough, the arc phase uh, loses its power on reducing the inter-class variance. Uh, and the author called it uh, overfitting the training data, which means, uh, so uh, and this also explains uh, some observation that uh, uh, when you have a limited number of uh, uh, people in your training data, uh, the uh, arc phase tends to uh, work uh, worse uh, compared with when you have a large number of people in your training data. This, when you have a large number of training data, uh, this situation uh, it is, is, is not super important. But when you have a limited number of people in your training data, and uh, it's easier for you to get the two classes or, or each classes are further away from each other. So that the uh, intra class is not uh, uh, enoughly uh, penalized. And uh, you also have a figure to demonstrate this idea. So, uh, what's the key idea of, uh, of the new method? Uh, apparently, they have this kind of adaptive way to uh, adding uh, to to add the uh, penalty. Uh, the basic idea is that uh, um, when the um, uh, two classes are very close to each other, uh, they try to uh, enforce the, uh, uh, the the power to separate the two classes further away. But when the two two classes are uh, enoughly far away from each other, uh, they create some penalty on reducing the uh, inter-class variance. This is a basic idea. Uh, this kind of so-called uh, adaptive or dynamic arc phase. Uh, and this is uh, uh, the math mathematical equation uh, to explain the idea. Uh, well, some people are good at reading equations, some people are good at reading text. Uh, and this is uh, 
the figure, as uh, you can see here, uh, the intra-class variance has been better penalized by using the new loss function term. <laughs> and this is uh, 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 the, the architecture of the network. But I, I, I don't think it's uh, as sophisticated as it's shown here. If you read through, this is uh, a face passing through this neural net, and uh, uh, this is the feature has been uh, uh, extracted. And uh, uh, this is the, uh, the dynamic term part, trying to calculate the distance uh, between the two classes. Then uh, this part uh, gives you a dynamic variable, v, y, i. Uh, if you are very familiar with our quiz part, uh, they use a fixed parameter v here. And uh, I think this uh, small parameter here is a key uh, contribution of this word, V, Y, I, that you can imagine this adaptive. And this V, Y, I fits into the, uh, the, 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 the training pipeline. Uh, and the, the best part of the network is quite similar with our place. And this is another way to explain the, the, the nets and the network, uh, the backbone structure of the neural nets. And uh, uh, this is a uh, measurement on the on the on the measurement data set. Uh, to be honest, I don't think the, it's a super significant improvement, but uh, you do see a consistent uh, improvement uh, across FW. Uh, well, Eric is here. Uh, also on uh, CFP, uh, FP data set and HDB data sets, we have a consistent uh, improvement compared with our face. Uh, but I think this figure. Uh, shows you uh, a better explanation about the idea. Uh, this is a uh, causing a minimum angular distance uh, between the two classes. Uh, as you can see here, uh, the uh, large base has a, a much smaller uh, minimum uh, angular distance, which means uh, adaptive for, for dynamic control on the penalty part of the exact words. But unfortunately, uh, the, the uh, recognition the, perform the, well, the improvement of the performance of recognition part is not as, as, is not as significant as that part because uh, I, I kind of feel the uh, recognition results is getting saturated on many of the experiments that said anyway. Uh, so this is a short conclusion. The author proposed a new loss function which called uh, GY in dynamic arc phase and developed the fixed additive angular margin of arc phase into a dynamic one. Uh, dynamic arc phase reduces the degree of overfitting caused by the fixed additive angular margin. Uh, extensive experimental evaluations are conducted on the most popular public domain phase recognition datasets to achieve state large performance on these benchmarks, which confirms the effectiveness of our proposed approach. So uh, we have 